Welcome to Module 1.1 of your Profound Professional Training Course. Over the coming days and weeks we'll explore many aspects of Proform and guide you through the myriad of possibilities that Proform opens up to you. Module 1 is a brief overview of the key elements you will need to know to get started with Proform and help you make the most out of your subscription. The Welcome Screen The Proform Welcome Screen holds a wealth of information and shows you how up to date your database is with declarations and results, a list of qualifiers due to run in the next few days from your saved systems, horse watcher alerts for horses running in the next few days, and any recent bets you have entered into the betting manager. When you first open Proform, you will see the welcome screen. At the top of the welcome screen is your expiry date, and if you have an in running subscription, in brackets, it will say IRP. In the top part of the welcome screen you will see any system qualifiers that are due to run in the next few days. And then down at the bottom, if you have any horses in the horse watcher, they will be flagged up on the welcome screen at this position. And any recent bets will be flagged up at the bottom. Downloading declarations and results. The first thing you're going to need to know is how to download the latest data from the Proform server. Downloading is very simple, you just click on the large download button on the right hand side of the Proform screen. This will connect to the Proform servers and download whatever data is needed. Proform knows which files it needs to download to get you up to date. Also if you leave your computer switched on overnight, with Proform left running, it will automatically connect at just before midnight and download the declarations and results that are available at that time. So let's see the download in action. We click on the download latest data from the Proform website button. This connects to the Proform server, grabs the files that it needs, which in this case is a couple of results files, and then loads each of the files into the database. Files have now loaded into the database and the welcome screen will refresh with any new qualifiers from systems, um, any new horses to watch and any bets that need reconciling will be done. Viewing declarations and results. There's many ways to view declarations and results, but in this first module we will show you the quickest way using the navigation bar at the top of the screen. In future modules we'll show you many other ways to view declarations and results. So the navigation bar is up at the top of the screen here. And if you click on today button, this will populate the list with the races that are running today in time order. We can then just select one of the races and then click on the go button and the race will open in the form book. And we can see we have the race open now and with various other tabs which we'll explain in later modules. We go back to the welcome screen. If you want to pull up more than one race in one go, we can use the plus plus button. This screen allows you to select multiple races, or you can right click and select all, right click, select none, or you can put a partial word match in. So if you just want the Wolverhampton races, put Wolvin, click on tick. Wolverhampton races get ticked. We click on OK and all the races will open in the form book. The races drop into the viewing history so you can move between the races by just clicking on the race time down here and the race cards will pop up. If you want to view a result from yesterday we can move back one day using these arrow keys on the navigation bar. Move back to yesterday and then in the same way, choose a race we want to look at, click on the race, click on go, and this pulls up the results screen into the form book for the Ross Common race. Navigating around the form book, we'll take a brief look at clicking your way around the form book. From the welcome screen, opening past results at the click of the mouse, 
and viewing trainer and jockey course stats. So we're back on the welcome screen again. So the first thing you can do is either from the qualifiers or the horses that are alerted from the horse watcher, you can double click the line and you get various options. You can open the horse's form in the form book, the race that it's running in, you can bring up jockey stats for Kyle James who's riding it today, trainer stats for Philip Kirby, record a bet on Golden Jess, or look at the course stats. So we'll start by dropping into the race in question. So this will open the form book and open the race that Golden Jess is running in, which is here. And if we click on the horse form tab, we can see Golden Jess's form and it's currently sorted by date, which is why the date header is highlighted. And if we want to have a look at Golden Jess's last race, we can just double click on the race and then choose the race name and into the form book pops up Golden Jess's last race and we can see it one last time out. The odds are 30 to 2 and it's dropped the race into the viewing history. We can size the viewing history bar so we can see more of the name. And then a little tip, if to make more space on the screen, you can hide the button bar at the side by just clicking on the little arrow and this gives you more space on the screen. Then we can size the list of horses down at the bottom. So if we go back to the race today, back to Golden Jess, if we double click again, we can pull up Kyle James, which is a jockey riding, and this is his current stats, how many winners he's had and runners, last 7 days, 14, 28, his runners by trainer, and then his, his previous horses he's ridden, let me click at his career by month and by year. And then we click back on the data view button, take us back into the form book. And again, in the same way, if we double click, we can look at the trainer's record. This pulls up the trainer's stats. Last seven days, 14, 28, all the jockeys that's ridden for him. Every single grid that you see you can just sort by clicking on the headers and then reverse sort it by clicking again and we could drop into a different jockey from this screen and the same we could drop in from this screen we could drop to an horse and that would pull the horse up in the form book so everything's just on double clicks to pull up the menu to take you to a further step. So we can pull up Gallery Slaves Run at Sedgefield on the 6th and 9th, just double click and it brings the result up. And the viewing history just keeps populating with what you've been looking at. So at any point you can click back and go back to different parts of what you've been looking at in the form book. So it's very simple to navigate your way around and choose the R so it populates the R's form from the list on the side and so on. So we've had a, a quick look at ProForm that will get you started. Um, the other thing is to have a look in the members area. You've already got access to this. This is where you downloaded the installation files from. And the members area is packed with lots of resources and systems, latest news articles, calendar of events, expert tips, the knowledge base, customer support and much more. It's your one stop shop for all your ProForm needs. Well that's the end of module 1.1 training session. Tomorrow module 1.2 will become available to you and in the meantime take your time to get to know ProForm Professional, experiment and try things out and in the main enjoy yourself. We know it might seem a bit complicated to start with but given time and the correct training, you'll be using ProForm to further your profitable betting for many years to come.